Early detection of cancer cells is one of the most important elements in controlling and sometimes curing this often deadly disease. And Verison Technology is working hard to make that happen. The company has a range of compact, non-invasive cancer detection devices that promise immediate results for lower costs than current methods. Join us as we check out some of the latest ammunition in the fight against cancer. Competition in the medical device industry is innovative, exciting, and highly competitive. With annual global sales in 2009 surpassing $260 billion, this sector features high risks during development, but good returns once products get to market. Vancouver, BC's Verisant technology is almost there. Back in July of 2010, CEO Thomas Braun formed a partnership with the BC Cancer Agency. The agency has spent years developing early detection technology, and Verisant is marketing it. We've got some of the country's most experienced medical device people working on this, who have years and years of experience with developing early cancer detection devices. The first product that we're going to market is called the Verisant Aura, and that's for the detection of skin cancer. And we think that we'll have it ready sometime in the middle of 2011. Skin cancer is the most common of all cancers. In the U.S. alone, there are 2 million people every year who are diagnosed with skin cancer, and billions are spent every year on tens of millions of skin biopsies. I'm just going to bring that. Verisant's Aura series for skin cancer detection was tested and refined at the Skin Care Centre at Vancouver General Hospital. There, they took 1,000 scans. The results are most encouraging. And if the results hold up, and we think it's probable, uh, then it's a product that uh, would be approved quickly by the regulatory authorities and uh, be a useful addition to, to the uh, clinical uh, practice of others. It's really not just for dermatologists. In fact, the bigger impact of something like this would probably be that if it's in the hands of uh, a primary care physician, a, a family doctor. Essentially what you're trying to do is quickly and efficiently scan a person's entire body. If you find something which is potentially cancerous, that only and only that lesion would be biopsied. So what you're doing is you're essentially eliminating unnecessary biopsies, which is causing unnecessary scarring, unnecessary cost to the system. The patient ends up having to wait sometimes weeks to get the result, and it ends up clogging up our whole system. The Aura will likely retail for approximately $30,000, a reasonable investment for a doctor so or clinic. Verisant's underlying the, uh, scientific process, called Raman spectroscopy, significantly pattern. enhances the effectiveness of existing diagnostic enough? tools. We can look at vibrational changes in so the molecules to allow us to determine whether the tissue we are looking at is actually normal, infl inflammatory or cancerous. So allow us to make a decision before we take a biopsy for, um, for pathology confirmation. Raman spectroscopy is a proven technology, but it has had issues that the research team has had to overcome. The biggest challenge processing speed. We created a very special way to improve the single-to-noise ratio of the Raman system uh, so that we can actually get a spectra within one second. Instead of expensive and painful biopsy and waiting for lab results, the physician and patient can get immediate, real-time diagnostic information. Now the spectra analysis are fast enough for commercial application in both the Aura and the company's next major product line, the Verisant Core Series. Using the same platform technology with an endoscopic attachment, the core diagnostic tool will aid in the early detection of other internal cancers, like lung cancer. Uh, less than 16% uh, of patients with lung cancer survive five years or more. So we are interested in uh, finding lung cancer early. We use a small fiber optic instrument 
that we can introduce into uh, the airways um, under local anesthetic uh, to the throat. Uh, so we have to have very small uh, miniaturized uh, equipment to allow us to access to uh, uh, different branches of the bronchial tube. With two products close to commercialization, Verisant is planning their next steps to capitalize on their first mover advantage. The company is now going into a new phase where we're going to be raising capital in order to achieve all of our milestones. It's an early opportunity from an investment perspective. However, the company isn't really that early stage because we're going right into commercialization. Health Canada has already said that it's a safe device and what it gives us is a much shortened regulatory approval process. Verisant will market the Aura devices directly to the medical community, starting with Canada and Europe. Sales will produce two revenue streams, immediate cash flow through delivery of the devices and ongoing income through supply of application tips mandated by health and safety. Typically when you're investing in biotech companies or even mining companies, there can be many, many years until that company achieves revenue. We're forecasting early revenue. For thousands of patients, doctors, dermatologists, and cancer specialists, the Verisant commercialization is good news. In Europe, about one in four people is walking around with cancer, or they're gonna get cancer at some point in their lives. So every family has been touched with cancer. What I'm really looking forward to is hearing those stories from patients who say, hey, you know, this device saved my life. Verisant will complete a production prototype of Verisant Aura by this spring, with commercial units ready for clinical trial and sale where authorized by this fall. You can find out more online there at verisant.com.